peace. This is Spiritual Lifting with me. Let me get your soul strong. Today's topic, Through the Void. Going through life and uh, you walk through many different paths. You go through many different things, day and night, night and day. Um, and we're always being in motion, uh, having restless nights, um, just encountering so many things. If you think about our optical center, uh, we're constantly calculating and viewing and visioning things that we can't even imagine. Sometimes that we get into a void, a place of standstillness, a place of just something that we can't even imagine. Uh, this void could be something that potentially we may actually feel has held us down and or held us back or um, just a standstillness. But as my grandmother used to say, when you can't figure out to do or you don't know what to do, do nothing. Allow this void in life to become a comfortable place. You have to think about this. When you're in the void, this is the perfect opportunity to be able to meditate, to be able to quiet the mind, the spirit, the body, and the soul, um, to be able to become a oneness with oneself. These voids are fantastic because such as a black hole, if we were to enter into a black hole and push through that void, on the other side, we don't know what there is. Uh, someplace wondrous, surely light, because light is taken in. Um, pushing through this void in life can bring you to the light. A lot of times in life, we don't need to continuously seek anything. By seeking nothing, by seeking nothing at all, could exactly bring us to the place where we need to be in this existence. How many times in life have you felt that everything was going your way, everything was right on time, and then all of a sudden, nothing? Or everything came at a standstill? Well, sometimes in life when things do that, this is for our greater protection uh, from the universe, from the Creator. And so we have to recognize these things as good things and not as negative things. I heard someone not that long ago say they felt lost or they felt empty in this existence. And, you know, the thing is, we're actually never lost. Once you're constantly in this life seeking something and looking to find something, that's when these feelings of uh, lostness or uh, void come along. But you have to allow that because this is a part of the process of our existence. Being in that, that's the case. Allow these things to happen. This brings greater knowledge and can help you uplift your spirit so self much higher. This void uh, could be a beautiful thing or it could be something not so beautiful if you let it be. When you're talking about entering into the, the darkness, you can't go into darkness without light. Otherwise, you wouldn't know there was darkness there. Uh, you don't have to ponder on that. These are just facts. You can't see what you can't see. Use the eye and not the eyes. Voids are fantastic for beginning again, starting anew. It's a neutrality on our existence. It's a neutrality on our spirit and our soul. And that means you have something positive and you have something negative going on which means that there is balance within your existence and in your life. So appreciate the void. Take time today to get outside. Enjoy the air. If you're bored, if you feel like you have nothing to do, if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling like you're in a void, you're not. Step out the door. It doesn't matter what the weather is. It doesn't matter what the time is. It doesn't matter what you emotionally or internally going through. Fill your universe with something much greater, which is the gift of life, which you have received every day. If you're awake listening to this video right now, that means that you have everything. 
You have everything because your, your existence is continuing. Remember, voids are opportunities to grow. Voids are opportunities to plan. Voids are opportunities to become spiritually deeper with oneself. How do you choose to try to make this happen, and what do you choose to do with it? This is not a long video today, but I thought I'd do one about being in a void and going through the void. Because going through a void uh, in this existence or this life, uh, you know, it is a great thing. It is actually a great accomplishment. Because you cannot win without losing. And at some point, our greatest champions, whoever they were throughout our time and throughout our history, have at some point lost, at some point been in a void, had a void unfulfilled. We don't need to go seeking. We just need to let it find us. So, to everyone who may be feeling like they're in a void, uh, they're lost, they're confused, just go forward and go through it. In that void, you'll be able to champion, and you'll see the value in it. Uh, the loneliness, the tiredness, all these things, it all has its purpose. And that purpose is all based on a balance within our existence. So remember, y'all, go through the void. Again, this is going to be a real short video today, but I'd like to, I'd like to jump on back on board and give you a little something of the spiritual lifting with V and just a little thought, a real quick thought today because many in our times may be feeling like they're in a void they may be feeling trapped but you're only trapped if you allow yourself to be trapped there is always a usefulness for every situation within your existence remember, everything that you've been given is a gift and you have to intake that gift you just have to use the eye to see it Focus, meditate on it, people, and ask the Creator for help through this. Hey, as always, the children are the future, and we are the past. But by pushing through the void, we can all be the future. This has been Spiritual Lifting with V. Let me get your soul swole. Peace.